Hi everyone! I'm Jenna from Brown Dog Craft Company. Today is Saturday, October 21st, and um, welcome to Let's Craft Together Live. Uh, today we have a lot of stuff to go over in the beginning here, and uh, then we'll make a card. So uh, I think I updated the um, photo of this video to show the card we're going to make today. So this is the card that we'll make today. So it uses the fluffiest friends bundle. Okay, so really cute. And this card is made completely from white die cuts. So we're gonna color everything. Everything started out white on this card. Well, except for the black card stock here. But everything else started out white. So we're gonna color today with blends and ink blend the background. So a lot of fun. We'll get to that. Um, but first. Um, one of the more important things I want to talk about today is the calendar, the upcoming class calendar for November. So um, we're almost at the end of October, if you can believe it. It's <laughs> October 21st, and um, I will have class on Tuesday, and that's the last class for October. So I will not be live for class. I normally go live for class every Tuesday at 8 p.m right here on my YouTube channel. So I will not be live on Tuesday, October 31st. So not this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday because it's Halloween and uh, we'll be trick-or-treating. So, um, and then we're into November classes already. So I, I can't believe it's already almost November, but it's here. So um, I wanted to show you the calendar, the class calendar, and then where to find it online. And then I can show you all the cards I have for the classes in November. And I even have a little bit of December done, uh, if you believe it or not. <laughs> and so I can show you the ones that I have done for that. And I'll talk about how you can sign up and um, for card kits and how all of that works. So um, I'll flip the camera and we'll get going on. We'll go through the calendar um, class by class and I'll show you what they all are. So let me turn my camera. Okay, so uh, this is my schedule, my uh, card class schedule for 2023. So we've already made it through September and October. Um, the next class in October is this fun fold class. Let me zoom in a bit. Um, so on my calendar here, it lists out all of the classes and they're they're in order in chronological order so here's October we come up here to October and then we have November we flip it over um, November continued and then December and then if I have any fun promotions they'll be here so generally if you signed up for the bundle classes <coughs> which my bundle classes are always the first Tuesday of the month um, if you signed up for the bundle classes and order the bundle to get the class for to get the card kits for free. Um, I give you a little thank you gift in there, and then um, just some other notes. So um, how to pay, um, where to find me, all of that fun stuff. So um, you can get this online. So I wanted to show you that quick. Let's go right here. So you go to browndogcraftcompany.com. And it'll bring you to my home page. So um, you can click here to shop or you can click here for the class calendar. My current host code is always here. Um, you'll, so you'll always find it on my website. So um, if you want to qualify for a card kit, like for instance, let's look at the first class that I have upcoming um, at the end of October here. So the Fun Fold Card Class makes three cards. It's actually four this month because I made four. So it's free, the card kit is free with a minimum $50 order using the current host code, which is found on my website, or $24 without an order, okay? So you just wanna make sure that when you're placing an order, you click here to shop, make sure the current host code is put in there, okay? Um, that will qualify you for a free class if your order is $50 or more before tax and shipping, okay? Um, if you wanna download the class calendar, you can click here. And what we're looking at right here 
is this, okay? So it'll download that for you. Um, and then you can see photos, if you go to the class calendar page, you can see photos of the classes that I have upcoming also, and uh, as well as past card kits that are still available. Okay, so that's here. All right. Okay. I've got to pull my comments back up again, so hold on. <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's find me on YouTube here. Uh, here I am, okay. All right, so I got comments back. Okay, so uh, let's look at classes. Okay, so fun fold card class for October. We're gonna make four fun fold cards using the classic Christmas stamp and die set. So those are using um, where is it? Here it is, right here. So it's using this suite mostly. Okay. So it's this particular stamp and die set. And we're going to make this is card number one. Okay. So that uses paper from the, um, like the Oh Holy Night suite. It's that foil paper and that pretty blue ribbon from that suite. Okay, so that one's like a book fold. Okay. Here's the second card. So this one is um, like an accordion fold. Really cute detail on that one. Okay, and these are all A2, so four and a quarter by five and a half. And then this one's a gate fold. So there's pecan pie and shaded spruce, and that's garden green ribbon, and some more DSP there, and it opens this way. Okay, so really pretty. And then this one I think is my favorite. So it's still an A2 card. I guess it's a Z fold of sorts. So this one uses real red, real red ribbon, and it opens this way. So, fun, Z fold. Okay. All right. Super cute. So, that is, um, that's, um, fun fold class in October. Okay. Then we get to the bundle class. The first class in November is this bundle class. So, you make four cards. We're using the very cute bundle. It's the card kit is free with a minimum $50 order using the current host code or $25 without an order. Okay, so the cards we're making in that class <coughs> are right here. So here's one. So this uses the Berry Cute Bundle. This is the Walk in the Forest Designer Series paper. Um, it's got the Snowflake 3D embossing folder, and then this is punched out with the bear. And then the dies cut out the tree here, and this tree and st is stamped. Um, but I think you can cut out one of the trees from the DSP also. And then, I can't remember what you call this ribbon. It's in the mini catalog here. Okay. So that's uh, Old Olive card base. Now this is the second card. It's Misty Moonlight card base. Now this one you're going to need, I love that baby bear, <laughs> this one you're going to need um, the shimmery embossing paste here. Um, this is the shimmer, shimmery white embossing paste or any embossing paste. And we're going to use a snowflake mask um, to get the snowflakes on the back there. Can you see that in the camera? I don't know. The snowflakes are on the back there. <coughs> and this is very vanilla. Okay, so cute. Um, oh, and that sentiment's from um, Joy to You. Okay, and then card number three, uh, a little bit of a fun fold here. Okay, and the ribbon, this pretty blue 
velvety ribbon here along the side and the cute little bear punch and the bear has Stella there I go I think I think I think you can see that on the bear okay so that's card three and then card four now this one doesn't have a sentiment <clears throat> you could add a sentiment or you could leave it uh, plain um, so this one doesn't use the bear punch just the bear okay and stamp some presents along the side here um, Christmas is better together so that's from the stamp set too okay so that's a very cute bundle card class here in November okay then we get into the second week of November the 14th and that's left let's craft card class so that um, is where I do three different cards using three different stamp sets so we'll make three cards um, the the video is live it's free um, if you'd like the card kit, it's free with a $50 minimum order using the current host code or $22 without an order. And those three sets, this one comes with a bonus this, this time. So those three sets are going to be Winter Owls. And uh, that uses the tartan plaid paper. This is the owl from the die set and the, um, the little tree. And then we, make a, I, we made a shaker with this one. Okay. So you'll get the, a full pack of these, um, <coughs> they come, where do I have them? They come like this. So you'll get a full pack of these in this kit. You'll have plenty left over. You definitely don't use them all in one card. Okay, so that's that one. So that's the first card for Let's Craft. Um, the second card is a card and a little tag. <laughs> so this uses, um, is it called cup of cheer? Cup of cheer? It's not sending cheer. It's, let's see where it is. I can't remember what it's called or even where to find it. Um, oh, it's this way. So it doesn't come with the dies. So it's perfect for either stamping and coloring yeah, gift, gift of giving. It's perfect for either stamping and coloring or um, this is heat embossed. So this is, um, it's heat embossed on here in early espresso. So it's just stamped on here. And then this is that adhesive backed gold paper and some of the online exclusive um, ribbon. And this one's a gatefold okay, in real red here. And it comes with this cute coordinating little um, this is the mini pocket envelope tag. So you could um, punch a hole and have it be a, a tag like this, or you could leave it without a tag and put a little gift card in it. Okay, so that one's heat embossed with early espresso. Okay, and then the third card I think is my favorite. Um, it uses Fragrant Forest. So this is a large background stamp that we stamped in three different colors of ink and then um, <coughs> did some ink blending onto the background um, and then the three different colors of ink we're gonna do um, they're heat embossed so I don't know if you can tell um, but they're super shiny and they have texture because they're heat embossed so I'll show you how to do that how to get your ink colors to heat emboss so you don't need to have these different colors of embossing folders you can heat emboss just the color um, so I'll show you how to do that. And then this is the burlap ribbon. And this is heat embossed with pecan pie using that um, joy of, joy to you. So this is probably my favorite of this. Okay, so that was, um, that was Let's Craft for November. Then I have a stamp -a stack It's the Trucking a Lawn stamp -a stack And this one is, you'll make nine cards. So three of three different designs. Um, you'll get a quarter pack of DSP, a roll of ribbon, and a pack of embellishments and envelopes. So this is the only one where you, it's not eligible. The card kit isn't eligible um, for free with an order. It's $49. And um, that is, oh, for some reason I only have two of the cards over here. I'll have to go grab the other card. <laughs> it, it, it grew legs and walked away. Okay, so this is the first one. So uh, the truck punch here. So I'll punch out the truck for you. <clears throat> um, 
you'll have to stamp on it. But, okay, so that's the first one, a fun fold of sorts. And then this is the next one. It uses that foil paper, an online exclusive foil paper, and the truck again, and the little Christmas tree. And then this looks like a present. I, I thought that was cute. Okay, and then my favorite one I don't have. Where did it go? I don't know where it went. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it's in here. I just missed it. So this is my favorite one. It's a little scene card. So um, we're going to start out with white and we'll stamp the clouds and the cute little trees and the truck and some ribbon. And then the scene continues to the inside of the card. Really fun. So you'll make three of each one. We'll just make one of each live during class, but you'll have all the supplies to make three. Okay, then we go to the back of the schedule. Now November, November's fun fold class is actually going to be holiday tags. So um, we're gonna make five holiday tags in that class. So it's free with a $50 minimum order using the current host code or $24 without an order. So um, I'm actually not quite finished because I'm waiting for um, sending cheer to arrive. Um, I ordered it during free shipping and um, <coughs> there's a bit of a backlog in shipping. So I'm waiting for it to come. So I'll show you what these look like when they're finished. But this is the first tag. So that's using that St. Nick paper and some presents from um, Celebrate With You Dies. Okay. So there's tag one. Here's take two. This uses Shop the Town. We're going to um, color this with our blends. Okay, so this is Shop the Town. Lots of sparkle. Okay, and this one, oops. This one uses, um, uh, what is that one called? Seasonal something from the annual catalog. Seasonal something. I gotta look it up. What is it? Seasonal. <laughs> of course, I forget what the name is, right? Seasonal branches, right there. Okay, uses that bundle. So we've got a cute little bird, and that's forever forest trees in the background. This is some snow from um, trucking along, and some red ribbon. Okay. Now this one will have a gingerbread man on it. <laughs> um, and then this is this has the texture paste, the shimmer paste. And yes, the shimmer paste only comes in white, but we will make it black. So you can make your shimmer paste any color you want. So I'll show you how to do that. <clears throat> so, and then I'll have another tag. So this one will have the gingerbread man. And then I'll have another tag. Um, I think I'm gonna change it up and not use these contour dies, but use the deckled rectangles. And so we'll have another tag from the um, stamp set that I'm waiting for. Maybe uh, an elf or something, I'm not really sure yet. Okay, so those are tags for Funfold. Now, since I have them designed, I figure I might as well show them to you. So December, there's a new online exclusive coming in November called Garden Meadow. Garden Meadow. It's a suite. And we're going to make four cards in this bundle class. So if you'd like a card kit, the card kits are free with a $50 minimum order using the current host code or $25 without an order. And that's these here. Okay, so here's the first. It's a gatefold. So the paper in this um, suite is just gorgeous. So all these cards really highlight the paper. This is part of the die. This is a new ribbon. This is a new embellishment. Cute little gate. All right, here's the second card. Again, it emphasizes the paper. Uh, this is a stamp from that stamp set. I tried to use everything from that stamp set if I could. 
these cute little boots and watering can. I just can't get over how cute they are. They're adorable. And then I tried to cut all the paper so it's cohesive. It, 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 it all flows together. So when you get the card kit from me, um, it'll all go together. Okay, pretty scene card. Really cute, cute little basket. And then this one has a wheelbarrow. It's got some ink splattering. We'll color the wheelbarrow. Those are the new embellishments too. Cute little um, spade and whatever you call that, I don't know. <laughs> That's how this one opens. And the pattern's cohesive there. Okay. That is December bundle class. Now, I'm not entirely finished with Let's Craft card class for... <coughs> um, December here, but I do have two of the cards finished. So this is the first one. It features um, Shop the Town and the original in the annual catalog. So we combine the two. So um, we've got some the exposed brick 3D embossing folder and some cute little carolers and a Christmas tree. Okay. Some Christmas lights. And then we we'll do some ink blending on the back to sort of age the brick. Uh, this one uses Garden Meadow again. So here we have Garden Meadow. Right here. And again, the paper is cohesive on that one. It has a cute little gate. It doesn't want to focus. Cute little gate. And then... I'm making the third card as we speak. It's going to be uh, a snowflake card <laughs> with a snowflake bundle. So I'm going to cut this out. This is the inside. And then this is the outside. And it uses a technique called emboss resist. So this is all the snowflakes are heat embossed in white. And then I did ink blending with three different colors. And then um, you just wipe off your panel when you're done ink blending and it's and it leaves the embossed image still white so it's called emboss resist so that card's still coming but that's for December so all right so if you have any questions on how to sign up for card kits um reach out to me um here's my contact information up here okay my email hello at brown dog craft company .com. my phone number um you can download this from the website and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so that's for the classes for card showcase overview. Um, and now I want to uh, go into making this sweet card. So this Fluffiest Friends is a bundle that's coming out in November as an online exclusive. Okay, so it's got all these cute little critters. They all have coordinating dyes except for um, the flowers and the bees don't. But it's a red rubber stamp set. <coughs> you can see I've already used it. Um, and then the dyes are here too. And you can cut out some additional things with the dyes, which I did. I'll show you all of those. And then... Um, Let's see. The colors we're going to pull in are Mossy Meadow and Azure Afternoon. Okay. And we're going to pull in some embellishments, uh, these butterflies. And then these are actually retired, but I'm going to use them. Um, I think they were from the Gnome Suite from last year's holiday catalog. It's not called the holiday catalog, but that's what I call it. So, <laughs> um, so from last year's holiday catalog. But they're so cute, and I have two of them, so I'm going to use them. Why not, right? Okay, and um, we'll probably pull in stylish shapes here for this. And this sentiment is from Share a Milkshake. And then we're going to color with our blends. So, um, for sake of video, here is everything, all the components of our card here today. So, I um, stamped and then die cut these out ahead of time. And I just tape them in using some um, post-it tape. Normally when I'm crafting on my own, I do not do this. I just wanted to show you, so we don't have to spend our time die cutting today. 
um, I wanted to show you. I wanted to more focus on the coloring. So these are stamped in black with Memento, and we're going to color them in. And then I also have this little bear cave. So we got our bear cave here, which we'll color. So this entire card is going to be made from white. So it starts as white, and it ends up like this. So um, it's a fun thing I like to do when making cards. It's just a little bit different. So, all right. So, oh, and you know what? I was going to, I never added me to the, there I am. I forgot to add me. You're going to put me over here. There we go. Hello. I thought something was funny in my um, video and it's because I forgot to do picture in picture. So, all right. So let's color. <coughs> um, what should we start with? Should we start with the bear? He's adorable. He's just Pooh Bear, right? You could draw a little shirt on him and make him poo. Okay, so he is colored with pecan pie. A little bit of bronze and a little bit of light crumb cake, if I can find it here. I got a whole marker full, or a whole bin full of markers. Where are you? Light pebble path. Where are you, light, light crumb cake? Here? Yes. Right here. Okay, so I pulled out my blends. Now, when you're coloring with your blends, I suggest always having a either a scratch paper or just some open space because you can test how the color looks on your paper before you put it on your image. Okay, so... <coughs> So what I do is I always start with my darker color first. So I'm going to take dark pecan pie, and I like to color with the brush tip. You can also color with the nib tip, but I like to color with the brush tip. Okay, and so I like to go over first with my dark color, wherever I think the bear should be darkest. Okay, so I'll add a little bit here, some here. Now these stamp sets kind of help you because they show you with these little markings here where the darkness where the shadows should be so it's really helpful when you're coloring to follow these little lines um on where your shadows should be okay so and my um advice would be to just take your time don't rush and um, if you mess up it's only paper and you can start again <laughs> so don't forget to remind yourself that that it's supposed to be fun so if you're not having fun what are we doing it for right okay so then I'll take my light pecan pie and I'm gonna blend out so I'm going to make sure that I go over what I already colored and blend out. These cute little ears. So I'm blending out. And then if you feel like you um, are losing some shadows, you can always go back in when you're done and add those back in. Sometimes I'll just sit down and put a show on and stamp a bunch of images and color. Just practice coloring, even if you don't have a card in mind. Okay. Now let's take our light crumb cake. And do the insides of his ears. I wonder if I used ivory. Let's see. I don't think I did because I don't have ivory out. I must have used light crumb cake. For his cute little face. And then his cute little foot here. 
And then to give his little foot some more definition, I used bronze for um, his little toes. I think they're probably traditionally black if you looked at a bear, but okay. And then I like my little critters to have uh, rosy cheeks, so I'm going to pull out um, light moody mauve. You could also do petal pink or any other um, pink that you have. Draw on some cute little rosy cheeks. Okay, and then now we have to color the honey pot. So the honey pot, I want to be red. So we're going to pull out um, <coughs> I think I used real red. Real red and dark, light and dark. Okay. Yep. So we're going to color where we think it needs to be darkest first. So I would say right around here. Okay, and then a pot is curved, so if you add your darker color on the outside and your lighter color on the inside, it will give you the illusion of a rounded shape. Okay, so there's dark and then light. And we're going to pull out our dark into the light, or into the white space, I guess. Okay, add a little bit more dark here. Okay, and then for honey, I did wild wheat. So I've got dark wild wheat, and I'll do the dark just along the edge here. And then light wild wheat. And blend out from there. Now what I like to do whenever I have a little critter who has eyes or a face, I like to take a black gel pen. So just any black gel pen that you have. This is what I have. It's a glaze, black glaze pen. And I like to go over their facial, facial features. Now, you should die cut before you do this because the die cut machine, with the pressure that it has, it will kind of smoosh this out. So um, definitely die cut before you do this part. And then I like to add little highlights. So let's add um, some highlights around the honey. So I just have a little um, white gel pen and I'll add some highlights to the honey there. Okay, um, <coughs> there's our bear. Isn't he cute? All right, now let's do our little bluebird. Now, I had to Google what color the beak was on a bluebird, on a blue jay, and Google said it was gray, not orange, so, or yellow, or whatever. So, I did gray. Um, so, let's pull out, I did um, Tahitian Tide. So, dark Tahitian Tide is what we'll start with. And so I'm going to go up along his face, come around his little neck area there, get some on his wing, underneath his wing. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do for dark. And then light Tahitian Tide, I will blend that out. So just make sure you go over what you already colored to help blend your colors together. Okay, and then his little tummy is, oh, that's black. I think his little tummy is gray granite. <coughs> <coughs> or is it smoky slate? Mm. I think it might be smoky slate. No, it's gray granite. All right. If I can find gray granite. Okay, so here's dark gray granite and light gray granite. So I'll do the dark gray right here and the light gray here. And then just so his beak doesn't match his little tummy, I did it in light crumb cake. Light crumb cake. I know light crumb cake is technically not... Um, gray, 
but I thought it was cute. And then we'll add a cute little rosy cheek with our light moody moth. Okay, we could add a little highlight on his belly. Cute little birdie. Okay, all right, now let's color these um, things that don't have any stamps. So rather than cut these from color cardstock, I just cut them from white and we'll color them. So let's go with our little honeycomb. So I'm going to take my wild wheat and I'm going to start with my wild wheat dark and I'm going to color um, on the very top of each one of these little die cut lines. Okay, just a thin line right there. And then I will blend that all together with the light shade. Okay, and it's okay that I'm coloring outside the lines because I already die cut these. Okay, now um, we need a little bit darker. Let's do um, light pecan pie for the center of the little, the center of the beehive there. Okay, all right, um, let's add some highlights to our beehive. So I'm just gonna take my white gel pen okay. and there's our little beehive. Okay, our branch, that's going to be in Pebbled Path. So I'm going to take Dark Pebbled Path and Light Pebbled Path. And my branches are going to go this way. So I'm going to take the dark color and apply it at the bottom of the branch where I feel like there would be the most amount of shadow. And then I will blend out with the lighter Pebbled Path. That's it. Easy peasy. Okay, now these are our leaves for our branch and our grass. So we're gonna take mossy meadow, dark and light. So for the with my dark mossy meadow, if you can you can kind of see there's little lines on these leaves. We're gonna flick our marker to our dark marker to make those detail lines. So we're just gonna go like this and flick our marker, okay? Nothing um, fancy about this. Just um, just some flick marks, okay? And then we're gonna fill in with our light color doing the same. So artward or inward, however you wanna flick your marker. Okay, and then same over here. blend those two together okay and the same with our little grass so that's what we're going to do with our grass too so we're going to take the dark mossy meadow <coughs> and we're going to flick so try to be super light and use the tip of your marker if you can and flick up okay That's going to give us detail. And then we're going to fill in and blend with the dark. Or, I'm sorry, with the light. Okay. Okay, and if you wanted to go back and add some more um, of your dark, you could definitely do that. Okay, mm, let's add a little bit of highlight to our leaves. Okay, there. All right, so those are our images with the exception of our um, <coughs> little, this little cave. Okay, 
Now the cave, you're gonna wanna pick one side to be darker and one side to be lighter, and we're gonna work our way across. So you'll wanna get um, a piece of scratch paper to put under your um, thing here. And we're going to do smoky slate and light gray granite. Let me find my smoky slate here. Dark smoky slate, light smoky slate. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the left side here that's going to be the darkest and we're going to take our dark smoky slate and we're going to start sort of off the paper and bring our marker onto the paper. Okay, so we don't want a solid straight line right there. We want um, a little bit of variation. It's going to help your colors blend together better. And I should mention that I am 100% not an expert at coloring. I just take out my markers and color and figure out what works best for me. So, um, you know, no one taught me. I just, I mess up too. <laughs> I throw stuff away too. So <coughs> if you're happy with it in the end, that's all that matters. So we are our own worst critic. No one else cares as much as us. Okay, now I'm going to take the light smoky slate and I'm going to start um, in the middle of where the dark smoky slate was and I'm going to drag out, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing. We want to blend between those two colors as best we can. Okay. I'm going to go back a little bit and do some more of my dark. The lighter colors have a lot more alcohol in them, so they can sometimes take away some of the dark color as you're coloring with them. Okay, and then we're going to end with light gray granite. Okay, so we'll start here. And now you got to work a little bit to blend these because they're slightly different. Right, this one's a little bit more of a warmer tone with some brown, maybe. I'll come from this side. Okay. And just go back and forth, work your markers together. And we're going to let that dry. And I'm going to call that good for my little background. So when it dries, it'll look more like that. Okay. All right. Now let's do our ink blending onto our panel, which I forgot to cut. So let's cut one quick. So that's going to measure four by five and a quarter. Oh, five and a quarter by four. Oops. Oh, and it looks like I have that mounted on a white piece that will be five and three eighths by four and an eighth. Okay, so that'll be our mat. So I have a little um, pocket here. I keep all my white scraps in. My black too. Oh, I'm zoomed in. Let me zoom out. I don't even put the envelope away. I just leave it out because I use it so much. All right, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to take our panel and we're going to ink blend. So the, t the, the, um, the sky is azure afternoon and the grass is mossy meadow. Now, when you get together here, if you ink blend these too much together, they'll turn brown because these two colors don't, when you mix them, they don't make a nice color unless you're looking for brown. So um, we're just going to be careful when we get down here to not um, mix the two colors together too much. So I'll get my, fo my camera to focus. Hopefully the focus is a little better on my camera. Um, if you've been around for a while, I have a 
I have a new camera and I've been playing with the focus and trying to change the settings and it's last last class like everything turned blue briefly I, I don't really know why but so working all the kinks out of the technology okay so I'm gonna get my blending brushes I want blue and green so I don't clean my blending brushes I have one for each color and when it's time to go ink blend, I just take a, a rag and I take my blush and I just go like this. <laughs> I get the majority of whatever color I had on my brush off. And whatever's left on there um, is so small, I don't think it really matters. So your blending brush will work better the more ink you have on it anyway. Like the more ink, the, the more seasoned the brush is, your blending brush will work better. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's start with Azure Afternoon. I love this color blue. So I'm going to turn my panel sideways here into landscape. And I'm going to start up here. And I'm going to be really soft when I'm ink blending. So you're better off taking your time with ink blending. Um, and slowly adding the ink instead of using more pressure to add more ink. Because it will leave brush marks on your cardstock. And then you won't be as happy with the results. So I'm just slowly adding the color on there and your edges will get a little bit darker that's okay they they will lighten as the ink dries um, but also I I kind of like that effect so let's see how far down I went on the original card hi Milo good boy can you guys hear Milo <laughs> He's walking around. He's mad because he didn't get to go get coffee with me today. Yeah, coffee. You know coffee. <laughs> uh, he didn't get his pup cup today. Pup cup? Yeah, I have to go to the post office after this. So maybe he can come with and get a pup cup. All right. Let's see how far I ink blended down. So that's about how far I ink blended on the original. So I'm going to flip this over. And close this up so I don't put my green brush in blue because I would do that and I'm going to take a little bit of post-it tape just like this <coughs> sorry I'm getting over a cold so um I feel fine but I don't sound fine <laughs> so uh, I'm going to put the sticky side I'm just going to stick it on my fingers here and that's what I'm going to use to hold my card stack down because I don't want to get any um fingerprints in my ink Okay, so this is Mossy Meadow, and we're going to ink blend that up from the bottom, and we're going to just sort of stay away from the blue for now. Okay. So I got something on my cardstock, of course. It's all right, it'll be covered up by the bear cave. So you can make this as dark or as light as you want. My goodness. Good boy, Milo. Lay down. Lay down, Milo. Lay down. Okay, now I'm going to take some ink and I'm going to try to bring it up into this center spot here and get rid of as much white as I can without making brown. I think that's good. There's a little bit of white, but not too much. So your ink will lighten a little bit as it dries. It's dye ink, and that's what dye ink does. So, um, you know, I say ink blend a little bit more than what you think you need because it'll dry back a little bit. Okay? So there's our, there's our cute background. Okay? Really cute. We're going to let this dry. It will dry relatively quickly since it is dye ink. And then we're going to um, heat emboss in white. This life is sweeter with you. So we'll just wait a little bit. Um, we can heat emboss our happy birthday too. So let's do, um, let's put our little, what do you call this together? Bear cave? <laughs> I think? Maybe? Okay, so here's our honeycomb, our branch. 
We need our grass here. Sweet little birdie. If I can get them off. Oh, that one's really sticking to the paper behind it. Okay. Um, here's our branch or our leaves for the branch. Okay. And then our bear. Come on, little bear. Little Bear. That reminded me of the show Little Bear. <laughs> did, did, did anyone else watch that show when they were little? Little Bear. I think that was his name. Little Bear. Ugh. Okay. So we're going to take um, some dimensionals. And our bear is going to be popped up. So let's add our dimensionals to him. He's so cute. He's like a big version of Winnie the Pooh. He's not quite small enough to be Pooh. Pooh was a little more round, maybe. This guy's a little more... I don't know. He looks more like a grizzly bear, doesn't he? Cute little grizzly bear. All right, our little birdie will be popped up. And our honeycomb will be popped up. Okay. And that's it for now. That's going to be popped up anyway. So let's build... Oh, where'd my grass go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> let's build the bottom of the little cave. So I'm going to take one of the grasses and my tweezers. And we're going to add some, just a little bit of glue behind it here. And when we do these, we're going to overlap them and make them look a little bit more realistic. <coughs> Let me get my sample up here. So we're going to put the grass right here. So, whoops, just at the bottom. Just at the bottom there. Okay. It's okay if it hangs off a little bit. We'll do another one. a little bit of glue. Don't need much. That one's going to go over here. Just a little bit of overlap. And then the third one. Okay. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, so there's our little bear cave, cute, okay, and then um, let's do the bear, so he's going to go like he's sitting on top of the grass just outside the cave there, so he's going to go right about here. Okay, give him a press. All right, there's our cute little bear. And then this will get popped up on the card. So I'll add some dimensionals here. Oh, and I'm down to the I'm down to the ends here. Let's go like this. Okay. Add all this in. And you lay down again, Milo? Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Such a good puppy. Such a good puppy. Okay. All right. And that is going to go onto here. Let's get this put here. Okay. Let's 
Get our backers off. Does anyone else find these literally all over the house? I took some clothes out of the dryer the other day, and these came out of the dryer. Like, how do they come out of the dryer? <laughs> you don't even know. Okay, so he's going to go... Oh, you know what? Before we put him on, let's do our heat embossing. Okay. Let's take uh, any stamp positioner that you have. And... Um, life is sweeter with you. I already have it lined up where I want it to go on the card um, from when I made the sample. So it's going to go up there. And I'm going to make sure I have this in the corner. Use whatever anti-static tool you have. Okay. And then grab your Versamark. This says happy birthday, but we don't want happy birthday there. That's for later. <laughs> grab your Versamark stamp that a couple times I like to stamp I used to say stamp it twice to make it nice and lately I've been saying stamp it thrice to make it nice I don't, I don't know <laughs> okay alright pull that out get our white embossing powder I just keep mine in these little um, tins <coughs> with a little baby plastic spoon in here. Um, I still spill, but don't mind the dog hair. <laughs> Sprinkle that on. Tap it off. That looks really good. Um, if you got some embossing powder where you don't want it, you can just use a little paintbrush. Brush it away carefully. I've got my heat gun. I'm going to let it heat up so it might be loud for a minute, and we're going to melt this embossing powder. Give it a second to dry, and then you can buff away the anti-static powder. Okay, now we can add the bear. Okay, so here's the little bear. We'll cover up that little blemish there. Oops. I want him a little bit lower, I think. Right about there. Okay. Now we got to do our branch. So our branch is going to come from the um, right side here. So just a little bit of glue. We don't need much. Whoops, I left the top to my glue off. Whoops. <laughs> I think it'll still work. All right, so that's going to come from here. Okay, and then we'll add our little um, leaves. So we'll add a big one here. And another big one down on the bottom. Right here. This is such a cute die set. I love it. And the, the leaves come in like, you can cut out a ton of leaves at one time. Like, not 10, but close to it. So, all right, this one's going to go here. Whoops, right around that U. And then... This last little one is going to go over the little um, cave, little bear cave. Okay. All right. And then our honeycomb or bee's nest, I guess, is going to go 
painting from the tree. So right about here. Like he just got his honey out of there. Right? And the cute little birdie will go sitting on the tree. Tweet, tweet, little birdie. Okay. And now we have to do our happy birthday sentiment. So that we're going to take um, a piece of black and our stamp positioner. We're going to put away life is sweeter with you and pull out happy birthday. Oh, the happy birthday is from Garden Meadow. That's where the happy birthday is from. Okay. And let me close my glue before it completely dries up. Use our heat tool or our anti-static tool. Okay. And our Versamark again. Oh, sorry, you can't see. There we go. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, little bear. All right, that looks good. Okay. Pull out our powder again. Looks pretty good, but I'm going to clean that up some. So here I just have a paintbrush. And I'm going to get rid of some of that. I think that's powder. Heat that up. let that set for a minute and I'm going to pull out um, the stylus shapes this one okay and we're gonna buff away that excess powder there's my post-it tape here we go and then we'll die cut this out I did it a little crooked, but just ever so slightly. I think it's still good enough. Okay, I'll get my get my dimensionals out again. It's gonna go right here. Try to get that as straight as I can. Okay. All right. Now we can add this to our <clears throat> mat here. And then we'll trim off these edges, the leaf and the... Um, not the leaf, the branch and the grass. Okay, so I'll glue that down. I like a pair of lawn scissors to do this. Line up your scissors with the edge of your card. Whoops. 
Okay. And then this is popped up on my card base. So we'll add our dimensionals. Get those on here. I'm going to do, this is 12 I'm doing. Okay. Takes forever to get the backers off. Look at that. <laughs> Apparently I should have. I should have, um, I spoke too soon. Normally, my, they get stuck. Okay, and then line this up. Okay. Oh, we got to stamp our inside. Got to stamp our inside. Let's see if this is big enough. We need five and a quarter. Perfect. By four. Oops, I just pulled the blade off my trimmer. There we go. <coughs> it pops right back in. Okay, now we're going to stamp bees and flowers. So these little bees are going to go along the top in our Azure Afternoon from the stamp set. Okay. See, cute little bees. So they're gonna go along the top. Cute, cute. And then we'll do the flowers. I know not all the flowers are going to be green, but we're going to do the flowers in mossy metal. All right, that's straight up and down right there. There we go. Now we just gotta glue that to the inside. And that's it. So you'll have to let me know what you think about starting with white, with a white card, white die cuts, white everything, and coloring them instead of die cutting them from colored cardstock. I'm curious. I'm curious if you like it, if you want to try it, what you think. So let me know. Leave a comment and let me know. All right. And there's our cute card. Cute, cute. Okay. Super fun. Super fun. Oh, we gotta do our embellishments. I almost forgot. All right, let's pull out a butterfly. <clears throat> let's do a little butterfly right here on the... Happy birthday. And then we're going to do the little blue gems. I don't know what color they are. I don't know what color they are, but let's do let's do a big one here. And a little one next to it. And 
a big one down here. Now we're done. Now he's finished. Really cute. All right, so that's what I have for you today for Let's Craft Together Live, episode 10. Let me flip my camera. All right, so thanks for spending um, just a little bit over an hour today with me. And um, let me know if you're interested in card kits. I'd be happy to get you signed up and get the cards uh, shipped out to you. You get everything you need in the card kits to make um, the cards that I've shown, except for the stamps and dies. So um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm available uh, anytime. And um, <clears throat> I will be back on Tuesday. What's the date on Tuesday? I think the 24th. Tuesday the 24th for the Holiday Fun Fold class. And that's going to be um, the four Christmas Classics Fun Fold cards. So, all right. Uh, Milo's taking a nap. He's literally right here. I can't move my chair. I'm stuck. So, um, so thanks for stopping by today. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you next time. Have a good weekend, everyone. Thanks. Bye now.